Hello and welcome to my channel, Becoming Bev. I'm in St. Lucia right now with a group of girlfriends and up a little bit earlier than everyone else and I had a few minutes and there's something that I wanna share with you. I was looking for new music and I ran across this artist, Forrest Black, B-L-A-K-K. -K. And I thought, wow, he's really good. And then as I was listening to his songs, he had some that were just spoken words with music in the background. And this particular one just really moved me. And I don't know who needs to hear this today, but I feel called to share it with you. So I'll just read the words to his, um, his song. We all have those days we just don't want to wake up where even the air in the room holds you down. And there are days where you beg the universe for any hint of a sign, just something to let you know that you are even remotely close to the right path. The kind of days where you doubt who you are and where you are or where you're even going. You anxiously retrace all of your steps, wondering where the hell you went wrong. And where was that place where all those lines became blurred and the road forked like a serpent's tongue, convincing you that you didn't even know yourself from Adam? Was it there that you split off into the wrong course? And had you taken the other road, you'd likely be in much better shape, right? Or better yet, maybe the world wouldn't have fallen apart like it has. Maybe all the right pieces would have been in all the right places, and maybe you would have found yourself instead of losing your hope, like an old love note you kept locked inside a dust-covered box under the floorboard. That sounds pretty good about right now. We could all use a little faith in ourselves. We deserve that, don't we? Don't we? Don't we deserve that? Don't we deserve to open our eyes and rejoice in the mere fact that we're alive and that we woke up here and that we can marvel in our own existence? Isn't that good enough? Or is it too much to ask for? Because I'm starting to get confused by this whole rat race you know, where we're chasing other people's dreams and comparing the wonder of what makes us, us. Can you believe that? Let me tell you, I've stared into the darkness and I've watched his lonely eyes look right back at me. I won't lie to you, they pierce the soul no less than a sharp knife on a fresh piece of flesh and it whispers into your ears into the silent of the night, just hoping that just for a second, you'll forget what it is you are. So hear me, my friends, don't listen. It's a trap to think that you are not the infinite. It's a tragedy to believe that even for a second, you are not the culmination of each incredible, improbable moment that led to your existence. You heard me right. And those scars you carry, well, those are yours. So wear them with honor like badges you've collected along your way. Place them over your heart one by one for all to see and stand up straight. Hold your head up high and don't you even think of wasting any more of your precious moments looking down on yourself. Wake up. You deserve that. You are human. You are alive. Wake up. You're a wildfire. Burn bright. Burn bright. Burn bright. So thank you for being here and thank you for listening to this. And it moved me to tears when I read it the first time. And I hope that whoever needed to hear this today hears it. And I love the part, hold your head up high and don't you even think of wasting any more of your precious moments looking down on yourself. So one of my favorite sayings right now is be kind to yourself and others. And I'm gonna say that to each of you, be kind to yourself and others. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for watching. You keep watching and I'll keep posting content.